G'day. In today's video, I'm talking about iPhone is unavailable or iPad is unavailable and what can you do to restore your iPhone with your Mac OS laptop. This particular one is running Monterey and typically I'll just quickly cover why you've got this message. This message usually comes up when you've entered your password too many times. It will progressively get a larger counter until it's completely unavailable and from there you will have to wipe the phone. When it gets to unavailable, there's no usual way to recover that information back again. So I would consider it almost lost or is lost when your iPhone is unavailable. Hopefully you've got iCloud enabled and it's backed up most of your data or you've done a backup on the computer. With that out of the way, with the unrecoverable data, how do we proceed from here with your Mac OS computer? Let's do that. So to begin with, just confirm that you are running the, one of the later versions of the Mac OS software and your iPhone is disabled. We'll also need a USB cable going to the computer and also what I typically use myself is one of these which helps me get the phone straight into recovery but with most of them we should be able to press this button combination volume up, volume down, power and hold. I'll plug the cord in and just keep holding power this should enter the phone into recovery mode. Some of the earlier models of iPhones with the home button that you can physically press, you do have to press that as well. But in this instance, I should just be able to keep holding power and that should get me into recovery. And then from there, we can continue on the computer. There we go. That took a little bit longer than expected, but we're there now. Once your phone is in recovery and you have your cable plugged in, granted it may fail a few times trying to do the update or your internet may be fairly slow. But once we're here, we need to go down to the bottom to Finder. Click on that. Over here on the left hand side, we should have iPhone. Click on it. And from here, we get this message here. It's a problem with the iPhone that requires it to update. In this one, basically if we tell it to update for a iPhone unavailable, it won't give us a chance to enter the password again. That would just typically be a waste of time. So from here, what I'm going to click on is restore. And if I go, software update is required. Yes, we want to do that. And now we play the waiting game. Depending on your internet speed, the software update may take 10 minutes, if you have a really bad internet speed, it may take a few hours to do that update. Now I'm just gonna fast forward time. Now it did, just, it did just finish that update. So if we go back here and go restore again, restore iPhone, restore an update, yes. There we go. Don't know why it's looping around a few times, but right now, iPhone software update, 5.81 gig, and it's gonna take about 13 minutes for it to do that. Some of the iPhones may come out of restore mode if it's sitting there waiting for so long. So just remember, volume up, volume down, hold power, and just keep holding it with the cord plugged in, and you should get back to recovery. So phone's back into recovery. Now I'm just doing those same steps again. We've got extracting software down the bottom here. I'll lay the phone. Where will I lay it? Over here. Oh, there's nowhere really not to put it anyway. Preparing to restore. Preparing iPhone for restore. So this should change over. And we should potentially get a progress bar just down the bottom. There we go. And from here, all going well, you should essentially be able to leave your phone and the computer together, and that should restore. So hopefully, 
your phone is now looking at a screen something like this. If you haven't got to this screen or it's errored out while you're doing the, the update, try it on a different USB cable, potentially try it on another USB port and see how you go from there. If you've successfully gone through, also as you go through here, it will eventually ask for your Apple ID. If it doesn't ask for your Apple ID and it just says unavailable again or disabled, what you'll have to do is go through. I believe you may have pressed update rather than restore right at the very beginning on the computer. So that, those couple of things there may help. But yeah, as I mentioned, if you do have an Apple ID or an iTunes account entered in on here, you will require to then re-enter that. If you don't know those details, you will have to contact Apple or go for the Apple re password recovery settings and see if you, or recovery site and see if you can do it that way. But hopefully overall, this has been able to help you recover your iPhone of any variety or an iPad or even iPod using the Mac OS. Hope that helps and I'll see you later. Bye.